Hey everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and I want to make a video today about rhodiola. It's possibly the number one best antidepressant single herb on the planet. Um, there's other herbs like Cava Cava, um, St. John's Wort, a very famous one. Um, but rhodiola, I think, is better and is, I have read testimonials saying it's better than they tried St. John's Wort. It helped, but nothing came close as rhodiola. Rhodiola is one of these amazing superior herbs, which are called adaptogens, which do multiple functions. They're very safe to take, and they have profound beneficial effects. Personally speaking, rhodiola is absolutely up there, my favorite herbs in the world. I love rhodiola deeply. It's brilliant for energy, and part of this comes from where it actually grows. It grows in high Arctic, um, cold climates like Russia, um, Siberia. There's many different varieties of rhodiola. The most famous one is rhodiola rosea. There's also rhodiola crenata, rhodiola sacra, which is a very sacred Tibetan um, form of rhodiola. But rhodiola is really actually famous for uplifting your mood, giving you a boost, making you feel well, happier, less stress, more peace, more joy and a good spirit in life. Just uplifting your mood, a mood enhancer. <laughs> rhodiola is amazing. <laughs> Because like it also smells like roses. The, the version um, that I have in my web shop, for example, or that I tried first, is it's called Rhodiola rosea. It's a root. It's also called Arctic root, but the the root smells like roses and it has like a reddishy, orangey, yellowishy, almost little, like fine amber over overtones to the deep red. It's a very strong smell. So if you if you boil Rhodiola or, or have a cup of instant tea. You'll notice a smell like wafting through the house. <laughs> so rhodiola, apart from just simply being possibly the number one best natural antidepressant on the planet, it's actually good for everyone and it's used for people throughout history. Anybody. Because where it grows in these very, very harsh, very harsh cold, barren sometimes, rocky, hard to grow in, hard to live in conditions like Siberia and uh, Russia. You know, that that wouldn't be the most uplifting, happiest, like, m good mood place to live in. Rhodiola is, is one I'd absolutely want to be trying if I had, if I wanted to make, have myself more happy. Deal with stuff like anxiety, depression, fear, upset, lost grief, just feeling a bit under the weather. It's one of these herbs, okay, some herbs you just don't feel too much, you know, you hear they're good for you, you hear something is a superfood, or you hear it's a herb, it's good for you, you take it, you're glad and you're happy and you feel good about yourself. But one of the reasons why rhodiol is a very special herb, and it, you actually really, really, really feel its effects. So like, you know you're getting a, a bang for your book, you're getting value for your money. And it's actually a strong herb. You don't need to use too much, actually, to be honest. It's uh, one of these herbs which is like very strong. You need smaller amounts. So you will, you'll surely notice more energy and definitely like increase in your mood. Um, it's been shown in studies to be very effective for the things that I've mentioned in this video. So for anyone living anywhere, except for if you're living in the tropics like me, like I find living in the tropics here where I am in Turks and Caicos Islands, in the Caribbean, you know, the sun is such a massive like, mood booster, um, just an uplifter, you know. Um, I haven't been taking rhodiola while I've been here, but in Ireland I did take it because the weather was lousy for ages. It was like winter for like, three and a half months. So rhodiola can be used for athletes or people wanting to have more energy for exercising or just generally more energy or to recover from tiredness, fatigue or stress. One herbalist whose favorite herb in the world is actually rhodiola. Out of all of the best Chinese adaptogens, Chinese herbs, out of ginseng, hoshuwu, shizanda berries, eucomia bark. Um, uh, his favorite is rhodiola, and he loves it, and he talks about it uh, enthusiastically. I think, <laughs> but um, he says he, when he has jet lag from traveling, he always takes and does take some rhodiola, and it gets rid of his jet lag because it, it rebalances, harmonizes his system. So anyway, I'll finish the video with that. So I hope this video has been informative. Um, if you want to learn more or to get rhodiola, you can you can see in the links below the video. Um, 
If you have any questions or comments, um, feel welcome to ask, and I look forward to seeing you again in another video. So, thanks for watching, and take care. God bless. Hey everyone, so more benefits of rhodiola that I wanted to share with you. Chinese emperors and the Vikings used and valued rhodiola. Um, it's also been shown to boost sexual vigor, um, stamina and mental clarity. Um, it says here that um, after one woman after taking it after suffering from post-traumatic stress PTSD after the, the trade centers were bombed in September 11 she was on antidepressant drugs for eight years um, she was 35 pounds she gained 35 pounds and had severe depression she says she was introduced to rhodiola by a doctor um, some kind of doctor and her depression cleared and she felt energized for the first time in years it also says here, um, rhodiola lowers um, C or F levels, which are related um, to when we're stressed. We produce this adrenaline and corticotropin releasing factor, which is C or F. So rhodiola is scientifically shown to reduce this factor. <clears throat> it also says it helps to revive the libido. So in, I'm going to share with you some studies and tests, for example. It says here a clinical study in Russia with 35 men <coughs> with erectile dysfunctions. Imagine, I didn't even notice about this. 26 out of 35 showed improvement um, in sexual function by taking rhodiola for three months. <coughs> and physical performance is significantly enhanced with taking this hair ball. So it says here a study with 112 um, athletes supplementing with rhodiola. 89% of them showed rapid improvement and heightened endurance in sports. So it heightens endurance, stamina and reduces fatigue. It increases recovery time. So let me go on to the next thing. Um, it also helps it's a very powerful antioxidant and helps combat free radicals. It says here it helps in cancer and tumor also. It says here it helps reduce the risk of cellular mutations. Um, Russian researchers found that rhodiola curbed tumor growth by 39% in, pe in people and lowered metastasis by 50%. Metastasis is a second regrowth or a second growth, a second coming of the tumor. So it helps curb the first growth with 39% and it helps stop half of recoming 50% of metastasis. So overall it's increased cancer survival rates. Um, uh, medicine hunter Chris Killam says rhodiola rosea offers a dynamic health experience for the herbal user. If you take it, you will feel it. Rhodiola is, in my estimation, the broadest, most remarkable, feel-good botanical in nature's pharmacy. That's that's amazing, and like I just keep hearing more and more as I research. So I'm gonna have to start taking this more because I only took it a little bit in my life. Like some herbs you just dabble with. I was taking so many other little trying things. I think rhodiola is becoming my favorite. <laughs> oh God. So, for the treatment of depression, I already talked about that really, but um, <clears throat> yeah, it says here, apart from being recommended for fatigue or catarrhal seasonal diseases, mental performance and endurance, um, it says here rhodiola is cardioprotective, so it helps normalize heart rate after intense exercise, it improves the nervous system and, me and mental functions such as memory by increasing blood supply to the muscles and the brain and also it increases protein synthesis. So I also read in the YouTube video I was watching by Dr. Marcola that it helps its strong antioxidant levels help protect the muscles and recover faster from exercise and in another place I was researching it increases the oxygenation of the blood which is brilliant. It's something along the lines of what cordyceps does and cordyceps is extremely famous, like energy, stamina, endurance, herb, which is very famous and very strong fortifying herb. The only thing is, I think right now, 
tend to prefer rhodiola because simply it acts very strongly on the mental emotional aspect improving your mood significantly but, uh, yeah i'm a big fan of cordyceps and I, I use it daily i use it today so it says here consumption of a small amount of rhodiola extract significantly improves a person's capacity to absorb and utilize oxygen that's pretty wicked if you ask me so uh, Yep, 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 yep. What else? Anything else I could say? Oh, let, let me read you some testimonials. I tried rhodiola for fatigue and found it. It has. Uh, <laughs> I and found it has affect my fatigue reduction significantly. It helps me to avoid strong medication. Okay, I was trying to quit drinking coffee and tried rhodiola. I found it has such a strong positive effect on my mood. I've never stopped taking it. That's from Jane. So that's pretty cool. Um, Due to my high stress occupation, I have anxiety attacks and migraine headaches all of the time. But recently I tried rhodiola, and the results were incredible. This root that grows wild in the eastern mountains of Siberia keeps me relaxed and ready to take on every day. Thanks to this, I have more energy and a brighter outlook each and every day. Um, I thought I would, uh, you would be interested to know that the client I called you about yesterday tested extremely positive using rhodiola for her allergies to pollen. So that's something I haven't mentioned yet, the allergies. It reduced her stress on her body from 90% to 5%. I don't know, that's pretty awesome. Usually what I know about pollen allergies, like bee pollen, is like homeopathic, take a grain and take a little bit of bee pollen. And that can, that's, that's, I've read other people's best thing against um, allergies, it just to add that in this video. So a little bit of bee pollen, just it's like homeopathy remedy, take a little bit and then your body realizes, oh, I don't need to overreact. But here, rhodiola seems to be pretty, very amazing too. All right, um, it says here, okay, so apart from everything I said, it helps also promote a healthy sleep. Improves sexual performance, uplifts the mood, decreases recovery time needed after workouts, increases energy, stamina, endurance, reduces stress and anxiety, promotes mental clarity and mental performance, helps, forces kids to clean their room, makes the children always say please and thank you. <laughs> okay, so that's just a little joke by somebody because maybe you either feel better in a better mood or they do. So. So that's about it, so I hope that's been helpful and if you're interested, this is just one herb, there's so many other herbs in the world, but this I think is definitely a herb to keep an eye out for, or to try if you feel like it. Um, for a whole host of reasons, like body, mind, spirit, emotions. So. I'll be making many more videos, so stay tuned and subscribe if you're new and share the video and give this um, video a like button if you found it helpful and if you've liked it. And as I said already, I'll see you again next time in another video. Okay, bye now. See you for now and have a good day.